Hi everyone, welcome to Go Classes. Let's solve this question. This is another question from Charles Roth, Fundamental of Digital Logic Design, 7th edition, problem number 13.28. Okay. In this question, you can notice a circuit is given to you. So this is a sequential circuit you can notice. So we have a flip-flop here. We have another flip-flop here. So you can notice this flip-flop, this flip-flop. So two JK flip-flop we have. This is a JK flip-flop. This is a JK flip-flop. Okay, so we have two JK flip flop here and uh, <clears throat> okay, so this is the JK flip flop we can notice. Now, finally, in this circuit, what we have, so in this circuit, you can notice this input A, sorry, this output A, you can notice this output A is connected, uh, this output A is actually, this A dash is connected here, you can notice, as you remember, this A dash, this A dash is like this, this A dash is connected here. Okay, and you can also notice that this B, this output B is connected here and this output B dash is connected here. Okay, so it's like this because you can notice this is B, this is B dash and this is A dash. Okay, and there is some input X, there is some out, okay, external input X. Okay, so some external input X is also present now. Okay, so this is the question you can notice. Now, in this question, the question is saying that assume that the delay of NAND gate nor gate are given to you so the delay of NAND gate nor gate that is 3 nanosecond okay so this NAND gate this NAND gate this NAND nor gate okay so for these the propagation delay is 3 nanosecond okay and assume that delay of inverter is 2 nanosecond so this inverter you are okay this inverter has delay 2 nanosecond propagation delay and setup time of uh, JK flip-flop is given to you so the propagation delay is a 4 nanosecond for the JK flip-flop and the setup time is already 2 nanosecond. What is the minimum clock period of the circuit? So for this circuit, what is the minimum clock period if X is changed early? Okay. So basically uh, what this line means, this line means that if X is changed early enough, which, which means that, okay, X is not, X is not changing basically. Okay. So don't worry about, uh, okay, X basically. Okay. X is changed early enough. So we don't have to worry about X. We don't have to worry about when X is changing. Okay. So X is X is changed accordingly. We don't have to worry about it. Okay. Now let's solve this question. And the question is asking what is the minimum clock period of the circuit. So in this circuit, this is a flip-flop. This is a flip-flop. And these two circuits are basically operated by this clock. Remember these two circuits. Okay. So this flip-flop, this flip-flop, they are operated by this clock. Okay. This is a negative edge triggered clock. You can notice. Sorry, uh, clock actually, uh, let me, let me correct myself. Clock is never negative edge triggered. Okay, flip flop is negative edge triggered. So this flip flop is negative edge triggered. This flip flop is negative edge triggered. Remember, clock is a clock. So this type of okay, clock is a clock. Clock is not negative edge triggered. Clock is not positive edge triggered. Clock is not level triggered. Clock is a clock. Our flip flop is positive edge triggered. Flip flop is negative edge triggered. For example, here the flip flop is negative edge triggered. This flip flop is also negative edge triggered. Okay. So this is the complete. Uh, you can notice this is the complete sequ uh, sequence circuit that is given to you. Why this is uh, why this is uh, synchronous? This circuit is synchronous because you have two flip flop and these two flip flop are operated by same clock. So you are applying the same clock. Basically, there is a clock and that clock you are applying here. Okay. So this is a synchronous sequential circuit. Now let's find out what is the, <clears throat> okay, what will happen here? Now again, okay, the same, this, this type of question we have already seen. Okay, now you can notice that when this, okay, so what will happen here? Here this will happen. So let us assume at this point of time, so this is a clock you can notice. So let's assume this is a, okay, on period and then this is a on period, uh, sorry. Now, so you can notice this is a rising edge, this is a rising edge. Now, let us assume that, let us assume what will happen between these two. Okay, so this is what we need to find out. What is going to happen between these two? Okay, so let us assume that uh, for this flip-flop and for this flip-flop, when this when this edge is coming, at that time already input is ready. Okay, so when this, when this positive edge is coming, at this point in this clock, when the positive edge is coming, let us assume that inputs are already ready this and this okay these inputs are already ready okay because setup time means what okay setup time is given to you two nanosecond what it means it means that when this positive edge comes okay actually the input is ready two nanoseconds before this okay so you can notice actually this positive edge is coming here but the input is ready at this point of time okay so at this point of time input is actually ready so you can notice this j a k a j b k b okay all these j a k a j b k b all these inputs are actually ready at this point of time because setup time means what okay before this 
I can say two nanosecond, two nanosecond before this was rising is two nanosecond before this rising is input is already ready. So remember at this point of time I can say that J A K A J B K B are stable. These are ready. These are available, or I can say these are stable. Okay. So these inputs are already stable here by the definition of set of time because this is the definition of set of time. Okay. Now let us see what will happen. So you can notice these inputs are already available when this age is age is coming. So when this age will come at that time, what will happen? This circuit and this circuit they will operate. Okay. So when this clock, when uh, actually actually this clock is negative age triggered. Uh, so sorry, this this flip flop and this flip flop these are negative age triggered. So let me correct myself. So let's assume that uh, your clock. Uh, so let me just change because actually flip flops are negative age triggered. If you notice. Then clips uh, flip flops are actually negative edge triggers. So let me let me uh, do like this. Okay. So let me do like this. Yeah. Okay. So let's take this. Now you can notice this is a falling edge. This is a falling edge. Okay. So because you can notice this this flip flop and this flip flop both are negative edge triggered. Now you can notice again the same point. So this is the triggering edge and this is the triggering edge. So I can say before this falling edge comes. Okay. The input is already ready here. Okay. So setup time i can say 2 nanosecond before this falling edge comes already input was available so this jak jbkb they are already stable here at this point of time now when this falling edge will come then what will happen now this op this circuit and this circuit this flip flop and this flip flop they will be operational so what will happen here this will happen that okay so the output will be produced after uh, propagation delay of the flip flop okay so i can say the okay so the propagation delay of the flip flop will be taken so here what will happen the propagation delay of the flip flop will be taken and then you can notice what will happen here so this propagation delay of the flip flop will be taken that is fine but after that you can notice this you can notice this a is connected here and you can notice this b is connected here okay so what will happen so this propagation delay of flip flop after that what will happen you can notice this is connected here so I can say at this point of time, at this point of time, I can say that Q, uh, I can say A comma B comma, I can say A comma B comma A days comma B days are stable. Okay, so they are also stable at this point of time. Now what will happen? So when they are stable and X is, we don't have to worry about X. X is already stable because the question is saying that X is changed earlier now. Means we don't have to worry about stability of X. X is already stable. Basically, X is already stable. I can say X is already stable. X is not changing. Okay, so don't worry about X. Now you can notice this B, this B comma B days. They are stable at this point of time. You can notice at this point of time. At this point of time, B comma B days are stable. What will happen now? Now you can notice this NAND gate, this NAND gate. Okay, so they will give you another extra delay. Okay, because the NAND gate delay is actually three nanosecond. So they will give you extra three three three. Okay, sorry three three. Okay, so total 6 nanosecond delay will be there okay so here you can notice another i can say this will be tp this will be actually 2pd uh, nand gate okay so this nand gate delay will be there okay so the propagation delay of the nand gate also will be here okay and after that you can notice that at this point of time okay at this point of time i can say at this point of time i can say that j a k a j b k b these are stable at this point of time j a j b K A K B. These are stable. Are stable. Okay. So at this point of time, these are stable for next falling edge. For next falling edge. For next falling edge. So these are stable now for next falling edge. Correct. Okay. So very simple. Now you can notice at this point of time. Now these are stable. Okay. At this. Okay. But you can notice setup time means what? Setup time means at this point of time these are stable. That is fine at this point. But you can notice they must be stable these inputs are stable okay but they must be stable at least set up time before this falling is at least set up time before this falling is so this is greater than or equal to ts okay so this is the whole idea actually okay so this again this question is very simple so finally what i can say i can okay let me let me repeat this remember what will happen here here we will have delay of the flip-flop after delay of the flip-flop we need delay of a two nand gate so delay of the flip-flop then delay of the two NAND gate and there is setup time also. Okay, so this is what we need. So finally, I can say that TP is greater than or equal to I can say TPD flip flop plus T uh, I can say uh, propagation delay of the NAND gate. Okay, and that is double actually. That is double. 
so i can say that okay if if we see our equation equation says t propagation delay of the combination circuit of the combination circuit plus what is the setup time okay so this tp will be greater than equal to what is the propagation delay of the flip flop so the for the flip flop the propagation delay is 4 nanosecond and the setup time is uh, 2 nanosecond okay so you can notice here the okay this is 4 nanosecond this will be 4 nanosecond and this setup time is 2 nanosecond and this will be 2 into 3 nanosecond okay so finally our tp means clock period that will be what that will be 6 plus okay so this will be 12 nanosecond okay so our i i can say what the minimum what the minimum tp minimum tp actually will be what so that will be 12 nanosecond okay so finally what the maximum frequency if they ask you the maximum frequency that will be one okay so finally i can say one by 12 gigahertz okay one by 12 gigahertz this will be the maximum frequency so one by 12 gigahertz this is the maximum frequency by which this circuit will operate okay so this is the maximum frequency by which this circuit will operate okay so this is the answer okay so minimum i can say minimum clock period that will be 12 nanosecond for this circuit okay so remember one thing i want to tell you is that this okay so some students might be wondering about this gate okay some students might be wondering that okay why are why we are not adding this delay okay for example we already have uh, i can say that we uh, what i can say for example this is your circuit and in this circuit you can notice that uh, why we are not adding this delay okay so actually you can notice one thing here that <clears throat> after i can say that uh, after how much after 4 nanosecond this output is available this output is available this output is available these two output are available after 4 nanosecond okay so you cannot this output this output these are already available after 4 nanosecond this is available after 4 nanosecond this is available after 4 nanosecond and finally this z is stable actually this z is stable after i can say 7 nanosecond so remember z is already stable after 7 nanosecond okay so first of all this z is already stable after 7 nanosecond so that is the reason we don't worry about z because z is already available after uh, stable after 7 nanosecond so we don't have to worry about this z okay all we have to worry about is uh, this okay <laughs> about these flip flops okay and there is one more thing here that i want to tell you is that even let us assume that let us assume that this uh, uh, this nor gate has let us assume this nor gate has 20 nanosecond delay let us assume okay so the delay of this nor gate is 20 nanosecond still actually there is some ambiguity here okay basically if the if this no if this nor gate has 20 nanosecond delay then answer then answer may be 12 nanosecond okay answer may be 12 nanosecond or answer may be okay we may we may be counting okay this also actually there is some ambiguity here some authors uh, some people they will count this okay they will consider this also and some people they will not consider this see what will happen is actually this clock is actually of uh, these two elements i can say these two flip flops these are basically dependent on this clock okay so on this clock only these two elements are dependent okay so that is the reason when we say that what is the minimum frequency with which uh, what is the maximum frequency with which this circuit must operate basically we are only concerned about these flip-flops okay so that is the reason uh, we don't actually consider this z okay we don't worry about this output stability when this output will be stable we don't worry about it so that is one of the reason okay so there is some uh, little bit ambiguity in this situation okay but you don't have to worry about in this question in this particular question i can say that answer will be 12 nanosecond because this z will be actually stable after 7 nanosecond okay so after 7 nanosecond because this output and this output these are stable after 4 nanosecond and this uh, this has propagation delay 3 nanosecond so this z will be actually stable after 7 nanosecond so that is the reason we don't have to worry about stability of z and the answer will be what answer will be 12 nanosecond this is the minimum propagation delay and the maximum uh, sorry uh, this is the minimum clock period and the maximum frequency will be 1 by 12 gigahertz okay so this is the question okay